Hi, my name is Amberly Buck with Whole Self Emergence Yoga. Today we are going to be doing a short and gentle yet very potent practice to balance the root chakra and to release dense um, energies, emotions, stored patterns um, stored within this chakra area, allowing them to move through our upper chakras and become lighter um, energies for us. So our root chakra is located at the base of the spine and it governs our elimination organs. It also is connected to our legs and our feet, our lower back area. It's what roots us to this earth. And when it is balanced, we feel secure, we feel worthy, we feel like we are loved and supported and taken care of um, when this chakra is out of balance we often feel a sense of lack um like there is not enough for us that we are not being supported um so today we're just going to really work on supporting our root chakra and building um, positive energy in that area we are going to start with a short yin practice to release energies from that area and yin we hold um slow grounded poses to release dense energy is stored deep within the connective tissues of our body. And then we're gonna finish with a few Kundalini um, practices, postures to help us continue to move that energy that we've released through our energetic system um, and release those energies. So we'll also be um, saying affirmations with our yin practice. So as we're releasing dense energies, we're going to be bringing in these seeds, planting these seeds within our root chakra so that they can grow and new patterns and new energies can form in these areas. So we're going to start in butterfly pose. So bringing the feet out in front of you, bringing the soles of our feet together. Just taking a nice deep breath in as you lengthen the spine. And we're just gonna hinge at the hips, coming forward, coming to your own edge here. And then if it feels good to you, you can round the spine. And just settling into this pose here. bringing attention and awareness to your breath, attention and awareness to the sensations that you're feeling at the base of your spine. Imagine as you're inhaling you're inhaling the affirmation, I am worthy. Bringing that affirmation to the sensations you're feeling in your body. Filling that area up with I am worthy. And on each exhale, just releasing, releasing anything that is not serving you. Each exhale, letting your body get a little heavier, letting go of control of your muscles, just allowing gravity, the earth, to support you. Getting heavier. Continuing to breathe in, I am worthy. And exhale. Anything that blocks, resists that affirmation. In yin yoga, we hold our poses for a little longer 
just allowing um, the space to open up to allow those energies to be released. Giving time and space to the moment, becoming present with our body, our breath. Take three more breaths here. And on your next inhale, just walking your hands in towards your body, coming up into a nice neutral seat, tall spine, maybe stretching your legs out for the moment. You can lean back on your hands, just taking a moment here, allowing the sensations to begin to subside, maybe just stretching your feet out back and forth, pointing the toes up, flexing the toes. Now, bringing the soles of the feet to the ground, bending at the knees, and just windshield wiper. Our legs back and forth a couple times, bringing your knees to one side and then the other. Very gentle twist here. This also is just bringing fresh energy into the area that we just caused stress and stretch to. We're going to come onto our knees. I'm sitting up on a blanket slightly, so you might want that too. We're going to come up onto our knees, coming into hero's pose and tucking our toes underneath our feet here, and then sitting back onto our heels. So really kind of an intense stretch for the toes here. If this is too much for you, if you wanna lower the intensity a little bit, you can bring your hands down. Just press into your palms, finding the intensity that is just right for you. So coming to your own edge in this pose, you don't wanna overstretch an area, um, but you do wanna feel some sensation here. So once you're finding your version of this pose, this toe squat, we're stretching the fascia all along the soles of our feet. And this fascia is connected all along the backs of our legs, up through the back, all the way up to the back of our neck. So having tightness there can affect so many other areas of our body. Just closing your eyes. Feeling the energy of the earth. Just coming up through your toes supporting you, filling you. Toes are the tap roots into the earth. And your next inhale is inhaling the affirmation, I am enough. And exhaling, exhaling all that is not serving you around that belief. I am enough. Three more breaths here. Okay. 
pants aren't already on the floor, bring them down just enough, releasing a little of that support, releasing the toes, coming back, just sitting on your heels and letting, letting the sensations subside, staying here for a moment. There's no rush in between poses. Doesn't feel like we're doing much, but this is intense work. We're gonna come all the way down onto our belly in the Sphinx pose here. So coming onto your forearms, making sure that your shoulders and your elbows are in line here. Your neck can be neutral, head looking forward. If you would like to lessen the intensity in the lower back here, you can bring your arms, your hands out further in front of you. Seeing how that feels, coming to your own edge in this pose. You can also play around with the distance of your feet. So you should be feeling some nice compression in your lower back, in the tailbone area, in that root chakra area. Playing with the distance of your feet will open that area, close a little more, finding, finding what you want to feel in this pose. And once you've found it, coming into stillness. Letting your muscles relax. Maybe on the inhale, imagine your breath coming in through the crown of your head. Coming all the way to the small of your back. Through that tailbone area where you're feeling sensation. And just breathing in, I am supported. I am supported. Just exhaling all that is not serving you here. Any negativity. Inhaling into that area. I am supported. Take three more breaths here. On your next exhale, just slowly lowering yourself down. Bringing one cheek to the ground. You can bring your arms down beside your body. Just taking a moment here, feeling the sensations, the fragility, that fragility, that feeling as your body rearranging itself and getting stronger.
that root chakra activating. Pressing your hands into the ground next to your chest. We're going to come back through tabletop into child's pose. So knees can be about mat with distance apart, nice and wide here. Big toes are touching. Your sit bones are resting on your heels. If they don't make it all the way to your heels, a blanket, a couch pillow, a cushion, anything you can place here underneath your sit bones. Um, just to create a little more support there. And then walking your hands out in front of you, bringing your forehead to the floor and just releasing, releasing your hips, allowing your shoulders to melt, feeling that expansion in the back where we just felt compression. Filling that back area with breath. And as we inhale, imagine it coming again through the crown of your head. Filling the space around your lower spine. And with each inhale, I am loved. I am loved. With each exhale, just letting go more and more getting heavier with each exhale, letting go of control. Lifting your head, we're just going to walk our hands back close to our body, coming up slowly, and then coming into a comfortable seated position. We're coming maybe up onto a cushion or a folded blanket, just lifting your sit bones slightly up off the floor, coming into a cross-legged seated position. We're gonna be coming into our kundalini postures. Now, so placing your hands on your knees, palms face down, we're just going to come into a Sufi grind or Siri Om, it's called in Kundalini. So keeping your sit bones, your root chakra, nice and rooted to the ground, we're just going to begin rotating our torso around our sit bones. So inhaling as you come forward, opening through the chest, shoulders go back, exhaling as we round the spine, shoulders come forward, inhale, coming forward, and exhale. You can close your eyes. Find that third eye gaze here, so that is between the eyebrows and a little above, just to relax gaze, not overly intense, keeping it nice and relaxed. It just brings energy to our pituitary gland, our third eye. Wanting all, all of our chakras to integrate. So while we're here, I want you to visualize all of the directions your spine is moving right now. Just a great way for us to get into our body. Feel that spine moving. And just imagine the energy at the base of the spine, the energy that we've just released in our last several poses. Imagine it being stirred up, being loosened, 
when you change directions. So inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you round the spine back. Visualizing the energy being loosened and stirred up. Inhale as you come back to center. Deep inhale, suspend the breath here. And exhale. And just stay here for a moment, maybe flipping your palms up. Just noticing the shifts, the energy, the energy moving, being the witness to thoughts and emotions that pop up as we're releasing these energies. And just the witness, allowing them to pass through us. Come on to our all fours and tabletop. If you are sitting on anything, you can just move that over to the side. So making sure that your shoulders and wrists and elbows are in line, that your hips are in line over your knees. We're going to come into some cat cows here. So inhaling as you draw the chest forward, belly to the floor, chin lifts. Exhale as we round the spine to the sky. Tucking the chin, tucking the tail, inhale, opening through the chest, chin lifts, exhale, coming into cat. These are nice fluid mo motions. No stopping, no starting. Feeling very fluid here. Going at your own pace. We're going to keep this a nice gentle pace after our yin practice. We're using the pranic pump located towards the base of the spine to pump energy up our entire spine. Integrating all of our chakras here. Sending that loosened energy that we just loosened up through our energy channels, through our upper chakras, transmuting, lightening those energies. Inhale, coming into cow. Suspend the breath. And exhale, coming back down into child's pose. So knees coming apart here, big toes are touching, bringing that forehead back to the ground, arms are extended. Just taking a moment here, releasing that lower back, feeling that extension, releasing those hips. Pressing the hands into the ground, walking them in close to you. Coming up slowly, we'll come back into our comfortable seat here for our last posture in this series to move and transmute this energy. So we're gonna come into Muladhara, our root chakra mudra, so with our hands. We're just gonna clasp our hands together, right thumb over left, and then just bringing our middle fingers into kind of that steeple position. And then we're just gonna bring our thumbs into sternum, bringing them into our heart center here. And we're gonna be doing a breath of fire. So I'm gonna demonstrate just for a moment what breath of fire is. So this is a breath that's coming in and out through our abdomen area. 
So a forceful, powerful breath from our abdomen area. Except we're going to be closing our mouth and doing this through our nose, really sending energy, sending that energy up through our chakra, sending it out through our auric field, loosening that energy, filling up this area with that energy. We're going to be sending it through our fingers and up and out. So bringing those fingers, coming back into this mudra, clasping the hands, that right thumb is an over the left, bringing those middle fingers up, pointed up, bringing your hands into heart center, thumbs pressed into sternum. Take a deep breath in here through your nose and begin breath of fire. You can close your eyes, find that third eye gaze, keep that breath up. Imagine that energy just going up and out. We are using that breath from that pranic center to send that energy from the diaphragm up and out, loosening, lightening, bringing it through our energy channel. Keep going. Deep inhale in, suspend the breath, and exhale. Release the hands down, bringing your hands palm face up on your knees. Just going in, feeling that energy, feeling that energy that we've just loosened. This energy is always there. Just gets dense, a little stuck. We're going to come into our final relaxation. So just coming down, laying down on your mat, maybe covering up if you have a blanket handy. It's nice and comfortable here. Taking this last couple minutes to integrate this practice, to allow our body to make adjustments, to heal. Taking up space here, palms face up, closing your eyes. Letting go here, letting go of tension in our body, doing a scan, making sure our face is relaxed. Our muscles from head to toe are relaxed. We are safe. We are supported by the earth. We are worthy. We are loved. We are abundant.
begin to bring awareness back to your body, back to your breath, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes. Just checking in with your body here, maybe rolling the wrists and the ankles. Checking to see if any stretches are needed here. Anything for the lower back. Stretching your arms up overhead. And then rolling onto one side. And pressing into the ground with your palm, coming back into your comfortable seat here. Rubbing your hands together, bringing them in to heart center, thumbs pressed into sternum. Thank you so much for joining me today. You are worthy. You are loved. You are safe. Namaste.